What's up everybody? This is Big Chips Gaming bringing you back Seven Days to Die. This is episode three. Uh, it's currently half past three. Um, I forgot to uh, say in the previous episodes that the day, uh, the day and the time is at the top center of the screen just underneath the compass. And when it hits 4 a.m., that basically means that the zombies are a little bit less dangerous uh, because at night time they sprint. Ferals can spawn, spider zombies can spawn, uh, zombie bears, although I don't know if they will spawn because I'm in the forest area where everything's green and clean and neat and um, a little bit more safer than most other areas. Um, so I forgot to say in the last episode a little bit about this game. Uh, so basically, Seven Days to Die. It's a sandbox game where it's. Uh, I can show you. Sandbox basically means uh, I'm talking to people that um, don't know some of the lingo to gaming. Uh, I know that there's, there's some out there, and I just want to cover. I just want to help out. Just do what I can. Um, especially like new people that have never seen this game before. Um, so Sandbox is the map, basically. This map is set to uh, 8,000 kilometers. So that basically means that from one corner, so like down here, to the other corner up there, is 8,000 blocks. And blocks is like this. It's blocks that are scattered all the way across from one corner to the world to the other corner of the world. Um, and obviously this is voxel. Voxel basically means blocky. Um, and yeah, like Minecraft. With also with the added effect of destructible environments. Uh, like I said in the previous episode, I believe, uh, if I destroy a block and I destroy too much of it, the remaining blocks of blood above it will collapse like you'd expect in real life. And obviously this is survival. There's hunger, there's health, there's thirst, there's debuffs like uh, if a zombie hits me I can get infected and I need to find medical supplies to cure myself and uh, yeah so uh, I'll explain a little bit more as things happen um, in, in terms of um, the survival aspect and it's just turned daytime so the zombies are a little bit less scary and did you see him over there he just collapsed and died that's a spider zombie right there <laughs> They're mean. They leap at you. Arlene over there jumping over a fence. There's another spider zombie over there. I did add a mod. Um, I can't remember the name of it. But basically, when a wandering horde approaches, because you get that, you could be just doing, going about your business and all of a sudden a bunch of zombies will come out of nowhere, which is a wandering horde. Um, I've set it to 32. So 32... Zombies will come at me all at the same time, especially if they hear me, if I make too much noise, just to add a little bit more risk. And I believe, if I've done it correctly, if I've installed it correctly, that um, there's a, there'll be a little bit more zombies spawning in the world, just to add that little bit of risk slash reward in terms of skills and, yeah, just, you know, add a little bit more to the world. I mean, it's a zombie apocalypse, and this is a giant sea over here. You'd expect a lot of zombies. <laughs> and I'd imagine it would come to effect when I explore more of the map that I've never been before. Tower defense. The tower defense aspect of the game comes into every seventh day. Obviously, you can change change the tower defense side of it uh, in the settings. I can make it so uh, a horde that will always know where I am and they will always be coming to me towards uh, between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. They will just keep coming constantly, over and over. And obviously I need to build a base that's strong enough to make traps, try and survive the night. And obviously the next horde night is day seven. So I've got a couple of days to just free about, do what I want until they arrive and try and end me in from, <laughs> from one way to Sunday. <laughs> and it will. It's happened many times before. Um, I don't know if I'll make this a permadeath series. Permadeath basically means if I die, that's the end of the series and I start something else. Either that be another game or 
that would be a brand new series for Seven Days to Die, with a little bit, a little bit of difference. You know, I can make, uh, I can do it like an overhaul mod called Darkness Falls. It's still Seven Days to Die, but with a lot more added to it, a lot more risk, and it is a really, really good mod. Uh, what else? Um, there's quite a few zombies actually. <laughs> I think I if I think of anything else I'll be sure to mention it and throughout the video. But that's some of the things that I want that I wanted to cover. I had a comment in the last episode, uh, no, the episode before, uh, episode one. Um, someone very politely asked if a little bit more description could be done uh, in the video, and that's what I did. If there's anything else that, that someone wants to know. Oh god, see what I mean? He's a leapy. I was about to say swear with him, but it's too early in the episode. <laughs> Whoa! He's coming for me. Die! Gotcha! There's loads. Loads of them. We're kicking off, people. We're kicking off. Whoa! Okay. Oh, she's angry. She's coming. My stamina. Keeps depleting. Die. You. Boom. Kill ya. He actually used to be the old um, spider zombie in the previous update. Um, we're currently on Alpha 20.5, which is at the top right corner of my screen. Uh, whereas before it was 19. And he was. And that zombie that I just killed him. He was actually the zombie, the uh, spider zombie. Uh, but he, they've, um, the developers have made him into a normal uh, zombie that roams around in the world. And this is the new spider zombie. Which is cool. A little bit of mutation. Of course they're going to look a little bit different if they can leap. Like, four to, four to five times the size of their body. <laughs> it makes sense too. Yeah, this guy. And they've uh, added a little bit more dismemberment. As far as I can tell, it's just two zombies at the moment that have the updated, like, gore. I mean, the head popping is always, well, as far as I know, it's been in the game for quite a while. But the, like, uh, chopping the head off and the head becomes a separate entity. And caving the zombie's face in so that eyes pop out. That's something brand new to the update. Which is cool. This Alpha 20 is a, such a good update. This adds so much. Because whereas before, in previous episodes, not episodes, sorry. <laughs> in, uh, in the previous Alpha, Alpha 19, this sort of stuff was never in the world before. Uh, um, White lines, traffic lines, m mostly traffic signs, which I remember. Uh, uh, I've got a new loot on me. Uh, I'm going to drop the, this water off that I've got in my inventory. Oh wow, there is quite a few in there. <laughs> happy days. I'm happy with that. Get some tomfoolery going on. Whoop whoop. <laughs> I'm wired, I'm happy, I'm good, it's, I'm enjoying making these videos, they're really fun to make, and especially playing my favourite game, get up there, bloody stamina, is bloody a swear word? It used to be, it used to be quite a common-ish swear word in the UK, and I'm not sure if um, other countries, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm not sure if some other countries I've just lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't need the water. The water can go here. Oh yeah, this is my inventory that I've organised. Materials, food, drink, tools, guns, like the A means ammo, and trader. This is stuff I'm going to sell to the trader to get a little bit more money. This is my materials. This is the normal stuff that you get easily in the world. This is my food, my drink, and my medical supplies. This is pretty good stuff to have. Uh, my weapons, tools, because I only had 
enough nails to make four boxes. So they're all kind of crammed in here. And obviously, you can check that. let's get going. We. It's a good. Uh, it's a good thing to build that. <laughs> Trader, here we come. Yeah. So um, actually, this is actually a brand new POI. POI means point of interest. In case anyone didn't know. Um, it basically means a uh, an entity or a building or something interesting that's in the world. Uh, like, like, like this road is not a POI. <laughs> that building is. This post isn't. That building is. It's. Uh, I'm hurt. Yeah. I don't think I need to explain any more on that one. Oh. Killing fools. Sit down. Oh. oh yeah, and I keep hearing um, before I start recording a uh, explosion happened. This is a like a mi little military sort of camp, and there's uh, landmines scattered all around it. Probably some down there. I think that's one right there. It might be hard to see in video, but no, the next time I see one, I'll get closer. The zombie stands on it, or if I stand on it, boom. Zombie goes flying, I die instantly. It's a whole thing. Oh, it's not. Oh. There we go. He's <laughs> now open. I don't even need to go and see him, because I'm going to the, do the quest. Okie dokie. But yeah, um, the trader opens at 6.05am, and I believe he closes... At 9.50, like 21.50 at night time. And when he closes, I can't get too close to his base. Otherwise, it'll take me far away. Who's after me? I mean, the music's kicking up just for one zombie. Normally, the music kicks up after three or four. But yeah, we've got a beautiful morning. Loving the god rays. Beautiful. No. Goodbye. Goodbye, Lois. The Fun Pimps are the developers of this game. As far as I know, it's been in development since 2013. Um, I believe in 2016, maybe 17, they released it onto uh, PC. Uh, not PC. Console. Sorry, I, I can't fight and talk at the same time. Yeah, they released it to the console, and I explained, I believe, in the first episode about that whole shiznit. <laughs> P.O.Y. over there. Uh, yeah, um, I know I, I'll, I'll get into a bit more detail. Uh, I'm running a mod called the Compo Pack 48. And that basically means that uh, a lot of community, I said that weird, community based POIs are created. You got your normal POIs that were crafted by the developers. Uh, when I say developer, not developer, when I say vanilla, that's the word, vanilla uh, playthrough or let's play, vanilla world, stuff like that, that basically means that I'm not using any mods, and it's that is just solely the developers that I've created. So yeah, the the mod that I'm running, Combo Pack Forty Eight, is what's making the cities absolutely gigantic. Ow! You remind me of someone. <laughs> Ow! I'm getting whacked. I'm hoping my um current settings can handle. I've got my um, FPS, my frames per second. Uh, on. I was I was actually running a graphics card called, uh, bear with me, uh, the uh, NVIDIA GTX 1650, I believe it was, and it's a really low tier graphics card. And I would never be able to run this on the highest settings possible. Especially with all this around me. 
absolutely crazy. I'm now running a Gigabyte NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti. And it is the best purchase I've possibly ever made. It, after like contemplating whether to do it or not. Because it's a, it's a hefty purchase, especially with the whole issue with uh, graphics cards. And I've just realised that I've just walked straight past it because I'm killing and talking. I'm easily distracted. I see now the FPS is dipping to like under 50. If it gets too crazy, I'll um, reduce it to uh, just high instead of ultra. Yeah, the, the settings in this game... The lowest runs low, medium, high, high. Whoa! I did not see you. Whoa! Whoa, 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 get my pistol out. Get it out. Shoot you, shoot you. Oh, you ass. See, this is what I mean. Infection. Mild infection. You have a mild infection, it would get worse until treated by antibiotics. Getting hit by zombies or animals will make an infection worse. And it's at 2%. Obviously, I've got the jar of honey, and it cures 5% of that infection. I've heard, oh god, I heard a lot of footsteps, and it made me worry. Let's repair my. I need a better weapon. I'm actually going to turn down my sins. Should be running a little bit better now. Although you can see the difference a little bit. Not that much. Everything still looks pretty good. I believe it's a sprain that dog's given me, and I can't do anything about it until the nine minutes is up. Obviously, a break uh, would mean a splint or a cast. I've actually added. I've added a mod. Where the wandering hordes are set to 32 zombies and they can happen oh god I'm gonna use my pistol for a little bit oh, okay get down go down got you oh god something behind me oh god ow ow oh I just took a lot of I just took some serious beatings. Oh, 36 health. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Leave me alone. I, don't, I, ain't, got, I ain't got any health. I ain't got health. I ain't got health. Get down. I can't aim. Why is it so hard? It's because he's jerking his head. Oh god, there's one there. <laughs> oh my god. This is a crazy start to the episode. I swear, oh my god. Luckily he went in the water and I heard him. Okay, I'm Taking a swing at me. Come at me and my family. Well, I, can't, I can't do Robert De Niro. <laughs> I've only just realised. Right, I can't run. Oh, and I need more health. If I'm about to do this POI, I don't see any zombies yet. But any bit when I hit this, they will spawn. Right, it's a fetch quest. Oh, please. Health. Yeah, that'll do. That's something at least. Uh, that only stops bleeding. It doesn't do anything else. Adrenaline carrying capacity plus 50. So this this will fill out my whole inventory so I don't slow down from carrying too much. Run speed plus 10. I didn't, I didn't know that. Water minus 30. So there's like a, a risk type, type thing in using it. These are these. I don't have a lot of arrows, so I need to make some more. Can I just go straight to the... 
um, Kira Satchel. The, um, the thing that I'm supposed to get in this quest is right in front of me on my compass. Whenever I start that quest, it pops up. And oh, I don't want to jump. Seems like I don't have, oh no, it seems like I don't have a choice. And I'll put, I can't put another one down because of the blocks. This tree is weird. That's not how trees work. <laughs> well, maybe they do. Oh, blueberry. Blueberry plant. Where is it? Is it actually outside the POI? I didn't even need to come in here. Alright, okay. Is it down these stairs? Does this POI get huge? Like, ridiculously huge. Are there zombie bears in here? And feral whites and all that horrible nightmare? Hello. Be good and bye. <laughs> Okay, at least I know there's no zombies above, because they're all down here. I think enough time has passed so I can start swearing now. <laughs> it's an urge. Swearing is a part of the English language. Don't jump, but I need to. Can I reach that? Uh, there? You. Yeah. You. See what I mean? That actually uh, decapitated his head. And I'm hungry. Oh, he's got food. Oh. I want a million dollars or a million pounds. Oh, God. I should not have looted. Oh, that sounds like a lot of them. That's a lot of footsteps. Where's that sound coming from? Got me? Sorry, leg. Sorry. Sorry. No. It is down there. I hear another footstep that's close to me. Let's go back down. Oh, God. See you later. Don't tell me there's another level. And they heard me. Come on. Come on. Come at me. Bring it. Bring it. feathers in trash bags. I don't think so. Oh, lots of food there. And I'm quite hungry. Oh, go my car. Don't wake up. Please don't be any zombie dogs. I can't see anyone. Hello, Lois. She probably bought a car from ages ago. I don't know if she knows where I am. Oh, good shot. Yeah, she didn't. Sneak damage times four. Oh, don't run. Oh, my leg's almost healed. Oh, really? Oh, God, she's running. Yeah, get that stun. Take her right off. Fuck are you, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> I might be loud. I'll have to turn that down and edit in. Oh, the door. Yeah, sure. Is there something here? Nope. Uh, oh, yes! 
Bicycle chassis, yes. All I need is the handlebars and I can make a bicycle. And that makes exploring a lot more worthwhile and less scary and risky. Uh, I'll scrap that. And that. Throw away the paper, don't need paper. And I'll eat that, definitely. Um, that only gives me one. It's not really worth it. I don't know where that zombie is. Oh, 40 ish seconds. And I'm fully healed. My leg, that is. I still need to eat to get my health back up. Or just something. I'm hearing a lot of footsteps. Okay, there's a lot of zombies on the other side of that door, but I can't open it. How do I open it? I've done paper. Go away, my God. Yes, put my food and some beer. That sounds like a lot on the other side of that door. <laughs> right, then. Is there like a. Yes, my legs are warm. Is there maybe something? Um, there was this. This opened the door somewhere. But I'm not sure where. Is there one this side? Oh, look at it. Ah, more paper. I mean, you can destroy the door if you want. Oh! Oh my god, I did open the door. Hello, bitches! See you later. Oh, no. oh, I should have done that. Oh, I've got something. Oh, was that an AK schematic? <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> Something's just stuck. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Are you sorted? No, you're still stuck. Keep it in here. They're so loud, there's so many. Go to sleep. I keep hitting the bloody wall. Uh, should I run in and then... Uh, you stay stuck. Thank you. Oh, it's another one, huh? Nice. Uh, okay. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, they're all open. Yeah, every single one is open. I can't use any of them. I don't know if they're banging above me. They might be. Okay, so I can use this. Oh, yes. First aid bandage. I'm using one of them. I don't care. Ten percent more damage with spears, and I did get the AK schematic, so I can craft my own schematic. I just need the parts to be able to do it. The parts will come in time. Uh, yeah, okay. more things to sell. Oh, more mods. Good, good, good. Uh, more, yeah, more. First aid. Nothing in the books pile. Oh, no, no, no. I can't open it. What? Actually, hold on. How many? I've got three. Should I try it? I might. Um, let me put a frame down just to protect myself a little bit. Do a little bit of smartness. If they start hitting this, then I know that they're right here. And I'll get my pistol out because I am cornered. And I'll try and keep the frames in my peripheral vision. Happy days we got in. It only took one. Oh, really? Again? Uh, I suppose I can sell it. Those stun batteries are crap. Absolute shite. 
Can't open any of them. Just make sure. Good. Right, I'm out of it. But I still need to get the um, supplies. Let's get the trader. Where? Oh, where? It's on this level. Oh, God, there's some here. Oh, there's loads of them. I think they're trying to. Zombies have a way of trying to find the quickest way to you. If it means they walk, have to walk too far, they won't. They will destroy the block. I don't know why they destroyed their pillar. <laughs> but they destroy the block to try and get to you. As in, they would. Sorry, let me explain that a bit better. They would rather destroy something made of concrete or steel, something really strong. If it means that they don't have to walk so far to you. That's what I mean. But obviously, from where I was to where they were, it's quite a track, quite a long distance. Hello, old spider. I might call you Holland. <laughs> you choose. Either call him Toby, or Andrew, or Tom. I'll let you guys decide. Uh, yes, more wood. Wood is always useful. Oh, yes. I don't think I have that yet. Or if I do, I don't. Yes, we'll get that. If I do, it has a... Yes, okay. Ah, uh, yes. I'll sell it. I'll scrap it because it won't be worth much. Okay, so where's the Curia satchel? Find white river supplies. Supplies. It is here. No. Yes. Go to sleep. Huh. Yeah, that's a community made POI. Some talented person that probably didn't get paid to do that has made that. I can only imagine how long it took them to make that. That's crazy. If only I could do something like that. If only if I could if I could find your name, I would thank you, dear sir. I would. Okay, let's go back to the trader. Right, we're fully back to health. Our leg is now healed, we don't have an infection, and there is a crack of a crate right there. Yes. Uh, another one. Increase projectile speed and range by 15%. Spear Hunter. Sure. Okay. Uh, Ranger's Guide to Archery. Remove 20%, right, remove 20 more arrows and bolts from your target. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. So when I hurt, when I kill someone or hurt someone with my arrows, they'll have a 20, 20, I can't speak. They'll have a 20% more chance of not breaking when they hit them. That's what I'm trying to say. Say, I can't speak today. I didn't get any honey out of that. Turn my flashlight off. Right, let's go back to the trader. Definitely get more feathers. I'm running low on arrows. Right, we did uh, have some drink just to clear a little bit out of our inventory. Right, drop what I don't need right now. I did say we'll head to the trader, but I'm currently full. I can go in there. Oh, repair that. So I might get a decent 89. Uh, the price is up here. Where 
where my mouse is. Sale price eighty nine, and obviously it's scrap chest armor. Uh, it's a heavy armor rating. It is good for armor, but it slows me down and it makes me loud. So stamina minus zero point nine. Mobility minus six, noise increase plus twenty, and I like running with light armor. Light armor is is my go-to usually. Um, yeah, it basically means that I can can't put any mods in anything. I don't know if I can put a mod in. I don't know. Oh, I thought I had my bow then. <laughs> Yeah, we'll put that in there. Rock damage doesn't do a lot, but it's better than something. It's better than nothing. Speak properly. Uh, that's got a mod, that's got a mod. That's got a mod. The mods are shown here. Ergonomic. Ergonomic grip mod. Right, obviously, I've died of red. And it's a metal chain mod. Frag remover. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll just put that in there. Uh, brass. Brass is very useful because it means that I can make this bullet casings. And I need that to be able to make ammo. I've got some food. I've got a blood bag. <laughs> I know that they go into. Um, Can I repair the pipe back? No, I'll just put that down there. No, I need a mine pipe. Yeah, sure. It's now gone up to 68, and this is now 172. I mean, from 89, I think it was, to 172. It's a massive bump. And I'm all about that. But I'll obviously, later on, when I find lots and lots of mods, because there's loads of different ones. If I get to the point where I don't need it or I'm not running with it or anything like that, I can start putting the mods into items that I'm going to sell and uh, it will increase the value. Uh, yeah. I take all of that because I'm going to sell it. We let's jump. What? Right, we're at the trader. Trader Joel is your name. Many thanks. You oh, oh. What? Oh god, that is such a tease. Oh, I don't know which one to choose. Scope times two. That's brilliant for eventually when I maybe get a crossbow. I don't have one right now. Or batter up. What does this do? You can craft baseball hats and letter jackets and take 5% less damage when wearing them. Uh, I don't wear that stuff. Oh, but it's a book. Yeah, okay. So, um, so I'll read it. Use. And then I'll go to skills. I've got three skill points. So I'll spend them in a minute. So these are all the books that I've read. Uh, oh, so where is it? Batter Up. Batter Up was that book I just read. Uh, craft baseball bats and letter jackets take 5% less damage when wearing them. And I've obviously read bats and clubs to grow 20% slower. Sorry, I just coughed. <laughs> and if I read all of the books, I get a, a nice buff. Power attacks that kill your enemy will fill your stamina meter. That is such good. That's a good thing to have. It's so good. And every single one has a buff at the end of it. And it's like a, a real, real good reward if you can find some of the series in these books. There's loads of them. Automatic weapons, batter up, great heist, lucky looter. Enemies have a high chance to drop loot. That's a really good one. Night Stalker, when you read all of them. Sneak attacks with knives at uh, cutthroat. Sneak attacks with knives at night. Okay, I don't know what that's going to give me. Or shots fired at point blank, ignore armor, bolt craft, 9mm ammunition. You get, I mean, I'm just explaining a little bit. You get the jits. The gist, that's the word. Gist. <laughs> Sorry, let's get another job. Uh, anywhere that's close. Oh yeah, 206. We've got a costume farm by ZZT, ZZ Tong. Okay. God bless you. Thank you very much. All right, let's go. Oh, I forgot to sell. 
I forgot to sell. I forgot to sell. Right. See your inventory. Right. Uh, sell, sell. Yes. Okay. Sell the old cash. Sell that, 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 and that. 787 is the money I've got. So I've got 4,227 cash for Dukes. Dukes Casino Tokens. Uh, all together. Just a peak volume 2. Uh, each successive makes sure at the same time get increased chance to quit by 10%. I would like the baseball bat. The baseball bat is a huge upgrade to the wooden club. All nerdy glasses. Uh, I don't know which one to get. Nerdy glasses give you a 10% XP gain. Or and a 10% decrease in crafting time. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Well, I can't afford the baseball bat anyway. Because it's 5,208. And I'm so I've only got 4,000. Um, I think I might go for the goggles. But any bet, I've done it, it's done. Safe travels. Any bet. Now that I've just bought them, I can now switch to and from. Just move some of this over. I don't really. I've only. I've only got the wood on me because it's to use to craft the wooden club and the primitive bow. Obviously, bones repair the bone knife. Makes sense. And stone repair repairs the stone axe. Had been options. Nah, I'll ignore that. I don't need that. I don't want to use that. Uh, okay. So it's now 309. Bloody hell. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I've, um... Sorry, I hit my mic again. Because <laughs> I'm trying to get my hair out of my face. Because my hair's getting too long and I need to get it cut. Um, so I've changed the settings in terms of the time of day. So instead of one hour... So instead of two hours for a full day to go from day one to day two within the game, so two hours in all, all together, that's really close. It's now, I've now reduced it to an hour. It's only because it makes editing easier. Don't get me wrong, I like making long videos, but I do want to decrease the length of time to maybe about 30 to 40 minutes. That's my aim, and that's been, that's been my aim for our, since starting episode one. So we need to go into that building to get the satchel. Okay, what do we have? I did not make more arrows. Well, okay. A load has just spawned. A load has just spawned here. That's not that many, actually. Right. Okay. Does this open? Yes, it does. Hello, buddy. Well, I can definitely hit you because you're still asleep. Thank you. And I will break this because it gives me so much blood. As I said before, bottom right corner of my screen is my harvest count of what I'm getting when I break or collect something. 120. Happy with that. Open that up. Uh, I don't have any stones, so I can't repair that. Actually, I'm going to grab some stones. Yeah, stone. Just so I can repair my axe. Uh, I'll grab one more. There's no doubt I'll need it. Let's break that down. Actually, I need... Right, let's grab these stones, actually. Let's grab all of these stones. Just here. Because I've got the wood on me. Might as well make some arrows. Work smarter, not harder. That's what I always say. Well, it's not like it's uh, an original quote from myself. Smarter men have said stuff before. <laughs> Boom! Boom goes the dynamite. That's actually destroyed. I'll collect this stone. Ugh, he's heard me. He's seen me. He's coming for me. Boom, bitch, get out of the way. 
Sorry. I was quite pleased with that one. Oh. Oh. Leave me alone. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. I know you're not dead. This guy hits like a ton of bricks. He has a really long reach. And he's uh, kind of like a beefier zombie. That zombie and this zombie behind her are like weaker zombies. They walk just a little bit slower. And they're more squishy. Easier, easier to kill. Demonstration right there. And then another demonstration. Right, those zombies over there can stay over there. But I want to make some arrows. Make all of that. Maybe apart from one. I can only make six. That's crazy. What am I lacking? I am lacking stone. Okay. I don't want to craft. Um, what's it called? A pine seed. I don't care about that. Okay. So we got a little time. We've basically just got what we started with. Oh my god. Hello. You made me jump. Goodbye. I'll take my arrow back. <laughs> I heard. Oh crap. Okay. A load more zombies has just spawned. Stay quiet. Stay quiet. Stay very, very quiet. Oh, I can't do his voice. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I can't get your head, so I'm going to aim for your bum hole. Have that. <laughs> the arrow stays in there. That's funny. Oh, whoa. He just neoed me. You bitch. Yeah. Uh, oh, a wrench. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I don't need that. I'll take the rest. A wrench is very good for harvesting uh, electronics and mechanical parts. So, oh, sorry, I just my nose. Um, so this, I can now break this down, and at the end of when I break it, it gives me a brass radiator right there. And if I put this into a forge and smelt it, it will um, give me a massive bunch huge amount of uh, brass and obviously brass casings equals ammo equals happy john oh don't tell me that they heard me oh, this oh and you and you and you strippy titties over there strippy tadas Okay, I've looted that. All right. All right, it's now quarter to five in the afternoon. I don't want a bone. Mm, take that as you will. <laughs> I realised as soon as I said it. <laughs> oh yes, meat stew, and I'm quite hungry. Meat stew is a very good food resource to get. It gives me fifty food, twenty-five health. 20 water, max stamina bonus 20. Yes, please. Thank you. I'll take that. I don't know why I'm so excited about that, but I just did The fridge for a great tar. Nothing behind there. And there's no zombies outside that's heard me. Okay, it sounds like a lot of zombies. I hear a lot of footsteps. Okay, it's just all the zombies in that room. How though? Probably because I'm broke something. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Uh, uh. Oh. Got you. I still need to spend my skill points. I'll do that in a bit. Once I've raided this place. And I'm a little bit safe. I'll scrap that. 
Yeah, I'll scrub that. Yeah, I'm already getting it off. Uh, take that, 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 can piss off. Okay. What's in here? Yeah, a bit more stone. Oh, more arrows, please. I think that was all the arrows. Uh, sorry, feathers. Very good. Sorry. Oh, crap. Perhaps if I don't waste it. Uh, yes, I got that. Brass is, is so important. And now I probably don't need to worry about it right now, but I am going to need. And another one. Oh, another zombie has heard me from outside. I'll wait for him to come to me. What do we have? I need a cooking pot. Please give me a cooking pot. Just so a cooking pot means that I can make a little bit more in my campfire, a little bit more food, maybe a bit more drink. Okay, I'm pretty sure everyone in. in bottom level is woken up. I say that and someone outside hears me. Oh, it's not part of the POI, so we don't count. There is him. Yeah, beat, beat your way through the door. Hold on, I'll uh, make it a little bit more difficult for you <laughs> by upgrading it. Anyone up here? Oh. I see your head. Oh, crap. Leave me alone. I'll just deal with the people in this room first. Go down. Go down. Okay, so that's everyone now. Oh god. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay, that's everyone so far. Until the that was on the breaks room. What goggles am I running with? I'm not even running with my loot goggles. For God's sake. Alright, open this. Another meat stew and a pumpkin. That's cool. Another meat stew. I'm up with that. And obviously, before I used the stone axe to break this down, and all it gave me, I think, was iron and cloth. Uh, but if I used a wrench, it's going to give me springs, short iron pipes, wood, and cloth. So it's so useful to use that. Come on in, Mariah. Oh, God. Crap. Go down. Had enough is had enough of his bullshit. Write this down. The day has gone so fast. Normally I play like play sorry, I think I said pay. Normally I play um two hours. So it makes the day length really long. So I can do a lot more during the day, but for the sake of editing and stuff like that, I think it's just easier just to um, reduce the uh, time for the sunrise to rise and then set. Oh, another one of those crap fucking things. And I've got up to 10 seconds without killing anything, it downgrades by one level. Barbara, I think that's fists. If I was to use um, my hands like this, <laughs> punch, punch the zombies. Hello, strippy tadas. Go to sleep. Get them wiggling. <laughs> oh, eat that. I don't really need to eat, actually. But we'll do it. Bye. And 
obviously, like, now I've got this. I can write this down and get more springs. Springs are really important. They're, like, used for a lot of, like, crafting within the game. Yes, and we've finally got that now. Cool, cool, cool. I don't think I've been in here yet. Oh, a shotgun with side crate. What is that zombie? Oh crap. There he is. <laughs> it's a little bit quiet now, so. We'll definitely break into this crate. And now we're in. Sweet. Uh, okay, so we've got a barbed wire mod. A bit more ammo. Still arrow hits. Scrub that down. I need that. Uh, I don't need to eat. I don't need to drink, really. Definitely need to sell that car repair you. Yeah, I've got some pipes on me. Oh, yeah. 129. We're slowly making some bucks. Uh, yeah. Is this, is this better than what I'm currently got in my club? 20% chance to cause bleeding damage, 40% with power attacks. Can be installed in clubs. Uh, what about my metal chain one? 10% chance to knock down opponents. Can be installed in clubs. I do prefer that. That gives me a little bit of breathing room. Rad Remover mod will disable the generation ability of radiated zombies for 90 seconds. Right, radiated zombies come a little bit later into the game. They run, they hit harder, they're just all sorts of bad news. They're, they're pricks, basically. <laughs> but they, um, that's one of the things I love about this game is the longer you play it, the harder it gets. It never gets boring. And the uh, replay value on this game is crazy. Let's see what Joel has. I might uh, repair this first, repair that. I don't have any repair repair kits to repair my wrench and my iron axe. My shovel's doing okay, I don't need to worry about that. Oh, power up again. Okay, uh, knock the ball out of the park with this technique. Do 10% more damage with clubs, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, baby. Yes. This might be a bit loud in the uh, <laughs> in the ear, but I'm happy. I'm good. I've done enough quests, and he's given me like a bonus um, for having them out. It, the quest side of things should now get a little bit harder. Bicycle. So he'll give me a bicycle. He'll give me ranged, ranged mods, which is not a bad... Not a bad thing, it's a good thing. Cloth armor bottle, bundle, it's, I don't know how high of a tier. So basically tiers in the game. When you see these numbers, um, like on anything really, one is the lowest, six is the highest, and six is like purple or pink, and five, like here, this, like this stun baton is the highest of its tier. Not the highest, sorry. The second to highest of its tier. And obviously, there's other, like, battens that you can get. Um, so that's why it sells a bit higher compared to, like, a tier 1. Because it's tier 5, it sells for a bit higher. Uh, right, free book bundle. Uh, so I can get free books, but there's the risk of them being what I've already read. Or just, just outright 2,500 dukes. I am gonna go for the bicycle because it's a very good 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 thing to get. All right, what do we got here? Got any special jobs? Okay, now he's gonna open another route to find I'm another trader. We're, exp uh, we're expanding trade routes to the north. Tell the folks at Custom Trader Jen that our dukes are shiny and they will have a reward and more work for you. So he's sending us to Trader Jen. Shh. I look forward to seeing you again. Um, some, basically, the traders in the game sell uh, certain things. Um, 
So Trojan would sell like medical supplies. Uh, don't quote me on exactly what they sell, but I'll give you the rough example. Trader Joel could sell just weapons. Uh, Trader Hugh could sell just armor, and Trader Rekt could sell uh, just like uh, materials kind of thing. So each trader has their own speciality that they sell in. I hope I explained that okay. Another job. Uh, the closest one is this one. 309 meters to the southeast. I have a task for you, friend. It's a fast food. Oh, fast food. Thank you. I bet you wouldn't do this for just anyone. Is that a... Wasteland? Thank you very much. No, I wouldn't. But thank you. Um, fast food. Is that like a sole hint because I've not had any takeaways recently? <laughs> Funny. Alright, now I've got 3,557 jukes. Very good. Uh, he restocks on day four. If we so, got what you're looking for, we can get it. Um, a helicopter or a 4x4 four four or a uh, Desert Eagle pistol or just something. Awesome would be perfect. Right, so we got a trade. We got another quest, and he's sending us to the northwest-ish. So we're looking at the map. Where is that? That's really far away, <laughs> and it's somewhere that I've never been before. So he could be sending me to the wasteland biome. Uh, the wasteland biome is not this pretty green, gorgeous like trees. It's like, it's where the worst things are, basically. You'll find the worst of the worst there. It's a very hard area. Um, I would not recommend it early game, unless you're prepared for a veteran player. I don't count myself as a veteran player. I've been watching the videos of this game since 2013 slash 14, but I've only been playing for a year. So far, I've logged about 800 hours, maybe. That's nothing to rant home about, really. Uh, hold on. Oh, locate trader. Oh, he's. Ugh, my bad. Being a stupid. Alright, that's the trader. The quest. Mark on map is just here. Awesome. I don't have time to do it now. Because it's getting late. As I said before, 10 o'clock, zombies run, zombies are scarier, zombies are mental. They're just outright pain in the ass early game, and I don't fancy dying. I'm beginning to quite like the world that I have. This house is pretty cool. Um, I don't want to see it end just yet. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll drop everything that we've collected and we'll definitely read that book more damage uh, is that water done? yes water is done put that into the food and drink put that in there oh and I've got a bite now sorry a little hiccup <laughs> we boom we've now got a bike It'll make for the next day to be absolutely awesome. And now I can venture further. Yes, it's still used stamina. I would rather use fossil fuels. Is it fossil fuels? Yes, I think so. Fossil fuels in between my legs for the extra generated engine speed and power. But that'll come a bit later. Uh, materials, oh, see like gas can. That'll obviously go into a motorcycle, a gyrocopter, or a 4x4. Uh, I sh I'll put that in the trading because when I get something because that will only go in clubs. Will it go into, into this? Because this is classes club, maybe. No, it won't. Okay. I'll chuck that away and that. When I finally get a club, I'll put that in there and it will increase the value and, I'll, and it will get me more money. Uh, pumpkin can go away. Coffee, coffee beans, very good. I made coffee, more coffee now actually. So look, let's put some 
frames in the fuel. I have not read the book for it yet, and uh, I need a and I need a cooking pot. Oh, still need it. Okay, I will just throw the water away in there, and we'll we're a little bit thirsty. We'll drink the red tea. It'll give us twenty four water, stamina regen at fifteen percent, efficient digestion plus fifteen percent duration for four minutes. Very good. I'm not really hungry. So I'll if I've got repair kit. I've got one. Okay, what do I value the most? The wrench or the fire axe? Uh I'd say the wrench because I've got the stone axe to break stuff down, so it's not all a lost cause. Okay. So I'll repair the wrench. There it is. Fully up. And obviously this wrench will go from one tier one to all the way to six and the next tier after that would be the ratchet then the next tier after that would be the impact driver impact driver tier six is the bee's knees it's the best way to break down resources all right what can we do uh it's currently just gone nine o'clock in the afternoon in the evening um i don't have time to do anything else I've already looted the POI that I'm in. If I loot this building, um, no, no, I haven't. Because there's zombies in there. <laughs> no, no, thank you. TTFN. No thanks. I might put. Uh, that's the problem. I know that in Alpha Twenty One, the next huge Alpha that's coming out is Twenty One. You can finally put double doors down, and they don't open. One opens that way, and then the other one opens this way. They're finally going to open in the same direction. It doesn't seem that much, but it's, I've, I think it's a big deal, and it's a very good thing to be added into the game. Um, because if you if I put one down, it'll look off centered and it'll look weird. It doesn't in line with the roof, and that annoys me. It's got to be visually appealing more than practical, in my opinion. <laughs> but that's just me. We could break this down. Get more cobblestone. Yeah, break this. Lovely. Very good. I Yeah, I'm pretty sure I looted this whole building that I'm in. Uh, yeah, cobblestone rocks. Chuck that in there. Got 113. And then I can make... So, when I'm upgrading... Obviously, the lowest tier of material for a block is wood. So this can be broken down very easily. It only has 500 hit points and it will break. The next stage after that is, like I've just, just shown you there, but I don't have it in my inventory right now, is cobblestone. Then after cobblestone, it goes to concrete. Then after concrete, it goes to steel. Steel being the highest thing. And it gives... A lot more protection. There's two zombies over there. There's one stood on that car. Stand over here, my usual spot. And I'm going to wrap up the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope I've explained. I just clicked my fingers, sorry. <laughs> and I hope I've explained um, what I can in great detail within the game as best I could. Again, any questions, anything at all. Um, happy to answer what I can and what I can uh, I'm really enjoying this episode this, this series this game I love this game it's so good um, it sums me up to a T crafting survival zombies got a protective base every seventh day it's very intuitive it's fun it's even though for a voxel game the graphics are gorgeous not, not many games can pull it off some can some can't in my opinion uh, so yeah anything at all please comment I know I keep saying it please like especially please like the likes help this channel out I do want to go all in this is still a new channel um, but this is something that I've always wanted to do for a very long time since like uh, since like 2014 this is something I've always wanted to do 
and obviously getting a computer and everything like that has helped me back until I finally got my first computer a year ago. Uh, yeah, subscribe, please subscribe, that'd be so good. Um, hit that bar, bell icon for more daily episodes, more daily videos, stay up to date. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, I have a Twitter account, um, it's in the description, and I have a Twitch account. I do plan on live streaming, but I, I'm not entirely sure when, but I would definitely post something on my Twitter, or maybe in another episode I might announce that I will, so keep an eye out for that. It's now dark, it's now scary, everything in the world wants to kill me, so I'm going to crouch because it reduces my visibility at the bottom left of the screen in Alsace 24. This is Big Chips Gaming. Hope you have all a good day. And see you in the next episode. Happy gaming!